Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So today's video is going to be the September Chasing Planner Piece subscription box. So if you want to see what's in it, then just keep watching. Okay, so I have already opened this, so it doesn't look as bad as it, it does, because I can't put everything back in here. Um, it doesn't look as bad as this when you open it up, but this is the September box. And this one's called Spring Thing. And I'm really excited about this. Jess has actually been telling me a little bit about it. So you get a little note bit here that has all about the box, what it is. It features floral artwork by Villa Art Studio, some discount codes and freebies and bits and pieces, plus about the stickers. And then on the other side, it's got absolutely everything that you get in the box. So I don't like to read that until I've gone through it and then I go back after it. So the first thing we've got in here is some stickers. So these ones are vinyl stickers which means they are a little bit different to some of the regular kinds of stickers we get. So you just need to be aware, and there's a little note on here that says that, that they are printed on premium matte vinyl and are best used with a ballpoint pen or an ultra fine sharpie. Now, thankfully, I already have plenty of those, but they're really pretty. Actually, I think I got one in the last one of these. I think so. So in here, we've got some headers, we've got some glitter washi strips, we've got some boxes, we've got some bills, and then some little boxes as well. I love the artwork. That really is pretty. And you've also got some cute little icons at the top. And then we've got, oh, now, I did change the size of this and I did it for a very specific reason. So when I was at the planner markets, I grabbed myself one of these little clip books. So this is a Filofax clip book. I didn't really have anything to use it with. So I wanted to set this up as sort of like my spring book because it is that kind of color anyway. So I got everything to fit in this sized planner. So I'm very, very, very excited to have a bit of a play. So I'm actually going to show you as we go along sort of what it looks like in the planner. So here we have a dashboard and a postcard. So the, ooh, the fell, ooh. So the little postcard says spring, a lovely reminder of how, cha how beautiful change can truly be. So it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous postcard. And then we've got a dashboard, be a wildflower among roses, and then some vellum as well. So I'm just going to show you put it in here. So we've got the cute dashboard there. Oh. And then the vellum on top. How good does that look? Oh, I love that. So pretty. All right, I'm just going to dig around in here. Uh, so I have a really cute, also I've got a little bit about, uh, so it's a little discount code from Reveal It Honey. And I know this comes from them as well. So this is a uh, honey and beeswax lip balm. And I have taken it off so it was easy to pull the lid off. It does smell a little bit waxy, but it feels really, really nice. Really good for dry lips. So I'm really looking forward to that because my lips have been dry for a couple of weeks. So I've got that. Then I've also got a discount off the next purchase. I have a cute little um, paper clip here with the butterfly. So I love that. And just fits obviously perfect in the theme. Then we've got a beautiful notepad. Oh my goodness. And I love chasing planner pieces notepads. I always have. It's so super thick though. Wow. Wow, look at those gorgeous flowers. So you've got the orchids and the roses at the top and then you've got this gorgeous orchid at the bottom with the pink. And again, I know, I know I say I don't like pink, but I think I do more than I think I do. So gorgeous little notepad there to go along with it. I also have a cute little charm here from the Little Wonderland. So I've got a little kind of thing to put on here. And what's cool, which I just realized while I was doing that, how cool is that going to be? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's adorable. So then I also have a cute little glitter pen. Ooh, and it's rose gold. And it's got the pink glitter on the inside. Now, it's one of those ones that's a little bit more gel than water. So because it's been sitting, obviously, in the box for a couple of days, it just needs to wander around a little bit. So you've got that bubble moving around. Oh, that's really pretty. Really pretty. I'm just going to see how it writes. So we've got black ink in here. And it's really smooth. It's not too bad. Oh, I like that. Okay, and then we have, oh, we've got two more things and then we'll get to the actual, the actual insert. So we've got a little pack of gummy bears in there. Yum. And then some gorgeous butterfly washi tape. Oh my goodness. So it's definitely got a little bit more purple to it than pink, but there's some beautiful pinks and yellows in here as well. I'm just going to put this down on the back of the paper. It's also a little bit transparent. 
So putting it down on white will get you the best vibrancy. Wow, look at that. That's beautiful. That is really pretty washy. Where did the washi come from? This is where I get this little bit out from. It's just a spring butterfly washi tape. Doesn't say where it's from. Might be exclusive to the box. So cool. All right, so then we move on to our actual inserts. So in here we've got four, four little bits and pieces. So we've got the start one is our October little inserts. I think it has October and November in it. So it ships in September and then you can use it to set up October and November. So again, I got the personal size to go in my clip book. So you've got the sort of opening bit of it. You've got the month all set out there for you with a little uh, planner bag at the bottom. And then you've got some habit trackers and mood tracking down the bottom. And then for November, you've got the same thing. So you've got the cool little opening of November. Oh, that flower is pretty. And then you've also got the habit trackers and mood tracking at the bottom. Then got a packet of dot grid paper. I'm having real issues with the bag. Got some dot grid paper, just plain dot grid paper. Always good to have that in any planner. And then you've got two sort of more specialized ones. So this one is the spring cleaning, which I'm gonna use a little bit to help me pack the house. So I need to clean the house as I pack the house up, getting ready to move. So we've got the cute little planner girl on the front that says spring cleaning. And then you've got the kitchen and the bathroom with all the bits and pieces that you need to do. You've got the laundry and the bedroom. And I'm guessing you would do the bedroom for every single one. So however many bedrooms you've got, you would do that. You've got the living room, the garage and outside, and then you've got miscellaneous and then extras at the back. I love inserts that sort that out for you. So it gives you sort of like a list on what to do. And not everything is going to be for everybody. Like if you have a, if you live in an apartment or in a really little townhouse, you might not have a garage or an outside. So you can just skip that page, but it's always good to have. And then we've also got here some gardening kind of ones. So Ryan and I are in the process of trying to grow some flowers so that we can move them into the new house. I've been growing succulents ever since my wedding because I love them. So here we've got some garden ones and these go all year round. So you've got January garden, general task flower gardens, fruit and vegetables and lawns. And then you've got the same thing for each month of the year. So then on the back, it has the garden list as well. So this is more specifically for your garden. So any tasks for each of your gardens that you need to do as well. So you've got January, February, March, April, and these are towards Australian gardens. So this, the seasons are gonna fit Australia. But obviously if you did, you did get this from overseas, you could always use it and just flip them around. So just maybe change the months around. I'm sure Jess could do them for you as well. So you've got July, August, September, October. Whoops, stuck. October, November, and December. I love that. I am going to try and be a little bit more of a green thumb at the new house. So I love that I've got those and they're gonna be really cool in this planner. So like I said, I'm gonna set this one up with all of these inserts. I'm gonna sort of use it to help me hack, to help me pack the house to sort of get ready for the garden and stuff. But I do like the idea of having like a little small kind of house planner or just sort of cleaning plan. I don't know if that makes any sense. Let me know if you've got a cleaning planner or a house chores planner or something similar at home. I'd love to know and how you use it and if you find it useful. Let me know down below or you can find me on any of my socials. This is a bi-monthly subscription box that so comes out every other month. So I got my last one in July and that would have set me up for August and September and then this one obviously does October and November. I also love using this kind of subscription box to try out different sizes of inserts because I don't always, you don't always want to do like 12 months at a time. But to be able to have them just for two months, try the size and we'll see if you like it. And that way you can order them more, like continue the order in that size moving forward. So that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Please give it a thumbs up and let me know if you want to see a little bit more of this clipbook in action. Don't forget to be following me on all of my social medias for all of my other little updates. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day and I will see you again in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye.